possession, maybe? This happened a few years ago in SW, Georgia, about an hour and a half south of Atlanta. My mum was a police officer at the time, and she told me the following. So they get a call to one of the bad parts of town, and it came from a father who said his daughter was on drugs. So my mum, we will call her Kay, and her partner call her D, walk into the house and find the daughter sitting on one of those old school couches with the legs that make it stand about four, six inches off the ground. So the woman is sitting there, just blankly staring in front of her. My mum said the woman suddenly started freaking out and screaming, He's right there! He's right there! He's coming! So K and D start to reach towards the woman to calm her. Suddenly, it's as if something under the couch grabs the woman and tries to yank her underneath the couch. K said that there's no way the woman could have faked this by the way her ankles bent underneath her and the force behind it. So K and D grab the woman and are literally playing tug of war with whatever was pulling this woman. Suddenly, and as quickly as it starts, the force just stops. The woman is screaming and crying and the father is still just saying his daughter is crazy and on drugs, so they take the woman to the hospital. Here's where it gets even more crazy. So, hospital does a drug test and finds zero drugs in this woman's system. Turns out this woman went to a local church earlier in the evening, begging for help, but the church turned her away thinking she was on drugs as well. Anyway, the woman gets admitted to the psych ward for a few days. What happens next is going to sound fake, but I swear on my kids it's not. A few days later, the house burns to the ground. Nobody was inside, thankfully. The woman was still admitted and the father got out before it was too late. They were unable to determine the cause of the fire. I recently met my mom's old partner, Dee, and asked her to tell the story because I didn't fully believe my mom. Well, she recounted it almost identically to how my mom did with the exception of her saying that when they had a hold of the woman on the couch, she remembers just repeating the Lord's Prayer over and over and over. She said she's never booked it so fast out of a house in her life. This story crosses my mind at least once a week and scares me still every single time.